Hello ladies and gentlemen, this video will be about month of February from the perspectives of the ancient sidereal astrology. We will be looking at each of the 29 lunar days of month of February. In this video, as usually, we'll be looking at what which day is good for new beginnings, for surgeries, for or not good for new beginnings or not not good for surgeries or which day is good for traveling and so i will try to cover the most important most uh, useful activities uh just small change i'm making now because of your comments because i saw that some people did not really understand which particular frame which particular um month i am using yes i do calculate the lunar dates as from the beginning of the lunar month which is the appearance of the moon i still do that i will of course apply this particular notion to my analysis but this time i will start because in order to make this simpler for you to understand i will start counting from 1st of february to 29th or for 1st of uh, March to 30th or 31st of March so that you we have some structure because before I used to um, record my analysis from the first appearance of the moon doesn't matter on which day this was sometimes it is on the 15th or the 16th um, and then I would be covering half of this month and half of the other. And I saw that this is uh, creating unclarity. So now you will hear me talking from as from the, the first of February to the last day of February and so. And yes, I will still be applying the notion of the ancients, which is really to follow the phases of the moon. So we are starting with the 1st of uh, February and we'll be looking at each and every one, every of the days of February. So 1st of February, 20th lunar day of, of Babylonian Shabbat, the moon is waning because as you know, we, yes, we look at the solar month for our uh, easier calculation, but actually we apply the phases of the moon to our analysis. So 1st of February, the moon is in very important degrees. Con the moon is in Virgo, conjoined with uh, the lunar node, um, Ketu, and the moon is forming harmonious aspect to the sun. This is a degree which is about very much about knowledge it is related to health and yes this day would be um, useful for some medical uh, practices me med medical um, operations but because because the moon is waning it this day will not be useful for new beginnings so it is thursday uh, Thursday day of Jupiter and usually of course I inform you about uh, which lunar day is connected to which um, planet and divinity so Thursday is ruled by Jupiter uh, on this day if we really want to connect with the planetary energy we can uh, welcome the sun and in the first hour when the sun is raising we can imagine orangey yellow aura around ourselves when we know Jupiter is ruling and for uh, connecting with this energy of abundance, of joy, um, blessing, we can wear citrine. But this day is indeed not very appropriate for new beginnings, but for medical interventions is good. For um, studying, for sharing your knowledge with, with others is good. For working in your garden is good. For maintaining your business and your um everyday administration and job for completion of certain administrative tasks is also fine medical interventions i said but not for new beginnings and now we look at 2nd of february which is 
uh, 21st lunar day, 21st of Babylonian Shabbat, and the moon is in very interesting degrees. They're called comfort. These are degrees for design, for creativity, for, yes, beauty, beauty procedures you may do, medical interventions you may do, uh, but the day is not appropriate for new beginnings. This is day of Venus. You welcome the sun. You know, the Venus is ruling the day, it's Friday, and you, you imagine the aura around yourself can be, let's say, pink or, or very light, uh, gently, gentle um, uh, blue, and you can wear pink quartz. Yes, medical interventions you can do. You can do a lot for, um, you. maybe on this day you will have the muse to create something beautiful, to complete administrative tasks, to complete uh, work, to complete and get rid of bad habits, the day is also very appropriate. You can travel uh, for negotiations, the day is not good. I forgot to mention this also about 1st of February, the same thing, not very appropriate for negotiations. You can travel, yes. Then we look at 3rd of uh, February, which is 22nd lunar day, which is Saturday. The moon is in very creative degrees with the star Gemma, wonderful for creative activities, wonderful for presenting beauty, wonderful for beauty procedures, very good for, uh, you can travel for negotiations, not very good, very good for uh, medical interventions, no new beginnings, this is Saturday, the day is ruled by Saturn, you welcome the sun, you know the day is ruled by Saturn, you can imagine the, let's say, amethyst aura around yourselves and you can wear amethyst. It is a great day for completion of tasks, for uh, uh, even for uh, reaching justice, let's say. Uh, then we have 4th of um, February, 23rd lunar day. This is Sunday. The moon now, you know, will be... Uh, in degrees which are called hermetic, they are very good for knowledge, for connection with nature, for doing your, let's say, practices, health, even um, practices, for even for taking care of your agriculture, connection with nature, very, very strong. Uh, not for medical interventions, not for new beginnings. This is Sunday, day of the sun. You welcome the sun in the morning. You know the sun is ruling the day. And you imagine around yourself orange aura, which will give you very good health, energy, enlightenment. But indeed, on this day, I don't really recommend medical interventions, but it's very good for connection with nature. Taking care of your of gemstones, uh, working with, um, let's say, doing homeopathy, working on your healing, giving healing to others, but no medical interventions. Then we look at, um, this is 5th of February, 25th lunar day. The moon is conjoined in the vicinity of very powerful uh, star in the stomach of the scorpion. Uh, really great to enhance our courage, great to give healing, to work on our intuition, to again, connection with nature, studying about health, um, big emphasis on connection with nature, with gemstones, with uh, herbalism, with homeopathy, teaching, researching all this, uh, learning all this, you know. Not good for medical interventions, big not. Um, to be careful when we travel on this day, no good, not good for new beginnings. The day is Monday. Uh, you can welcome the sun, you imagine the moon is ruling the day, you imagine light green aura around yourselves, and we can ask for abundance, for fertility, you know, and on this day uh, we can wear uh, pearl, let's say. And now we uh, have the uh, 6th of February, which is 25th lunar day, which is Tuesday. So we're looking at Tuesday, which is 6th of February, 25th lunar day. And the moon is in very interesting degrees, again, very much about connection with nature, very much about healing, homeopathy, enhancing our intuition. Uh, 
Uh, these degrees are also very strong when it comes to healing indeed and to hermetic true knowledge. So it could be great really to use these degrees for um, enhancing our knowledge, studying, teaching others. Also, um, uh, it is the day of Mars. So if you welcome the sun, you know Mars is ruling. You imagine a red aura around yourself, which is giving you um, powerful energy for healing, for um, to, to, to be energetic, really, to have these very good martial qualities. And on this day, you can wear a ruby if you want. The day is not appropriate for medical interventions, also to stay away from risky situations on this day, not good for new beginnings also, but for studying, for working with the nature, for healing, for... Um, helping others, enhancing your intuition, the day is great. And then we look at six, uh, 7th of uh, February, which is already Wednesday, 26th lunar day. Very good day uh, in terms of, yeah, the day is good for completion of things, for helping others, for... Um, um, it, it, the, the, on this day, there is very beautiful trine between uh, Moon, Venus, and uh, Jupiter, and double sextile uh, with Saturn. So it's actually it's a very interesting day. On this day, we can, well, it's very good for what? For teaching, helping others, um, for... This is, these are the degrees of Sagittarius, which are very lofty, very much related to philosophies, to st for study. It is good for your business. Uh, can give the day can be give abundance. It is good to work with children. It is uh, good for medical interventions, to travel, uh, even to negotiate. It's just a very good day, but mainly towards completion of of stuff. Com it is good to reach peace with somebody, to. Um, uh, reach friendship with somebody like if you had a conflict it's a very good day to to kind of uh, negotiate to revisit your relationship so it's a very very interesting day it's a wednesday also day of mercury knowledge so you welcome the sun you know mercury is ruling you imagine um, green aura around yourselves and you can wear emerald actually on this day, particularly, uh, this is uh, Saturn is becoming invisible. So this day somehow is important because you will see many old things disappear. Like uh, Saturn, when he disappears, he takes with himself what he represents, some old habits. You can use the day really to release something that you want to get rid of, to release some bad habits. Let's say you want to start sm stop smoking or you want to get rid of the chocolate. <laughs> well, I will try, I promise. Um, or to get rid of sugar. This can be really maybe a very useful moment, I believe. At least I will try. So it's a good day for um, completion of something old that you want really to release yourself from. Uh, medical interventions, I said, good, but new beginnings are not. Mainly releasing, getting um, rid of something. So now we look at um, 8 of February, which is Thursday, 27th lunar day. Another very good day. First day of the invisibility of Saturn. So we have a conjunction between Moon and Venus, exact conjunction, trying to Jupiter again. Uh, you can use this day also for uh, getting rid of something, releasing something, bad habit, completion of something, completion of, uh, let's say you want to close, uh, to complete uh, annoying paperwork. It's a very good moment to do that, to give you good results. Amazing day for studying, for helping others, for um, um, working with children, for abundance, uh, you know, to maintain your business. M medical interventions you can do, but you cannot really do new beginnings. I do not recommend. This is Thursday, day of Jupiter. You welcome the sun. You know, Jupiter is ruling the day. You imagine around yourself the... 
uh, yellowish aura of Jupiter for abundance, for blessing, for joy, for courage. Uh, and you can wear citrine. And now we're looking at 9th of February, which is 28th lunar day, which is day of Venus. And here you have the lunar invisibility. And uh, the moon is invisible in the eight degrees of Capricorn for the first time. The, these are degrees where you have the star out there. You can use this not for active uh, deeds, but truly to work on your intuition because the moon is conjoined very clairvoyant star. No new beginnings, no medical interventions. Just work on your intuition. This is about uh, Friday, day of Venus. You know the situation is in the morning. You imagine the um, uh, when the sun is rising for the first time. You imagine the pink aura and you can wear pink quartz. Then we're looking at the next day of the lunar invisibility which is 10th of February, 29th lunar day. This is Saturday. Also, the moon is invisible. Not much to do, really. No medical interventions. Not much to do on this day. We stay a little bit more low profile. Uh, Saturday, day of Saturn. Welcome the sun. You know, Saturn is ruling the day. You imagine um, amethyst color aura and you can... Uh, wear amethyst for protection, for helping yourself with the Saturnine um, karma, if you want. And then we have 11th of February, which is Sunday, 30th lunar day, the same situation. The moon is still invisible. So it's day of the sun. You welcome the sun. You know the sun is ruling the day. You imagine the red aura of the sun, which is giving you health, enlightenment, and you can wear um, uh, ruby <clears throat> on this day, but there is nothing really to do, not much. Uh, you can work on your intuition, you can practice, uh, let's say, spiritual practices, but not really medical interventions, no new beginnings, really not much to do. Then we have 12th of uh, February, the first appearance of the moon on the 12th of February for month Adar. This is the Babylonian Adar. The first appearance of the moon is happening in the vicinity of a sacred degree, the waters of Aquarius, where you know the waterman is pouring the waters of abundance, of spirituality, of knowledge. Akashic memories and so on. So this is not a bad appearance of the moon uh, from sextile with Venus. I like it. And this is forming the next month, actually, lunar month. 12th of February, first lunar day, Monday. Um, so this day is already good for some new beginnings. Now uh, you can do new beginnings which will be related to new technology, to technological work. Medical interventions you can do if they're not invasive. Uh, beauty procedures you can do if they're not invasive. You can travel. Uh, this is day Monday. You welcome the sun. You know the moon is ruling the day. And you imagine the aura around yourself is light green. And you can wear Larimar, let's say. Then we look at the next day which is 13th of February, which is Tuesday, second lunar day, second of the month Adar of the Babylonians. Uh, this is interesting, very spiritual degree uh, in Pisces, um, sixed out by Venus, Mars, Taurus, Pluto, the Sun in Capricorn, four planets in Capricorn sextile, uh, the Moon, this is appropriate for some medical interventions. You can travel. Some new beginnings are very possible indeed uh, related to studies, to spirituality. Some new businesses can benefit from this. You can travel. You can do a lot. Uh, this is Tuesday, day of Mars. You welcome the sun. You know, Mars is ruling the day. You can imagine the red aura around yourself and you can wear red coral and now we have 14th of february which is uh for uh, third lunar day this is wednesday 
the moon is in very spiritual degrees, the day is appropriate for spiritual activities, helping others. Yes, you can do some medical interventions. If they are not invasive here, we need to be a little bit more careful. You can travel new beginnings. I wouldn't do on this particular day. Um, you can actually teach others, study, help others. Spiritual activity is brilliant. You can work in on your intuition. Uh, this is the day is Wednesday. You welcome the sun. You know Mercury is ruling the day. You imagine the aura around yourself is greenish. And you can wear an emerald or green aventurine, let's say, or peridot, let's say. And now we have 15th lunar day, uh, Thursday, uh, 15th February, Thursday, 4th, 4th lunar day. Uh, 4th lunar day, powerful, mighty lunar day, actually. And the moon is conjoined Jupiter, sextiled by uh, invisible Saturn and the sun. And this is uh, interesting. And on this day, medical interventions you can do if they are not very invasive, because still there is a square from Saturn and Pluto. So we have to be careful. Medical interventions, yes, be careful. Also beauty procedures, I would say no, because when Venus is in Capricorn, I can't imagine what results this can give. Almost no results. And then also on this day, new beginnings. I wouldn't do new beginnings, but to maintain the business you can do, but you just need to be very organized, very structured. Um, so yes, in t you can do the type of technical, masculine type of work, um, building work, um, Yes, construction, technology, such type of work will be very good, but new beginnings, not really. But if you really have to, you have to start something uh, and you're searching for the day this week when it's related to technology, to masculine type of work, construction type of work, this could be the day. Uh, because the fourth lunar day is mighty as as being a fourth lunar day and also this is thursday you welcome the sun you know jupiter is ruling the day thursday you imagine the aura around yourself is uh, yellow orange and you can wear citrine and we have now 16th uh, lunar day which is a friday 16th february <laughs> which is friday and this is the fifth lunar day same situation almost um, the day is good for work with technology, construction, masculine type of work, non-new beginnings, uh, good for maintaining the status quo. I wouldn't do surgeries on this day or if you have to not invasive surgeries. This is Friday, day of Venus, you welcome the sun, you know Venus is ruling the day and then you can... Um, imagine the, when you welcome the sun, you imagine the aura around yourself is uh, very light uh, pink and you can wear rose quartz. And now we're looking at 17th of February, which is sixth lunar day. The moon is in very, in her exaltation, beautiful, powerful degrees, really powerful, but the moon receives the square from the sun and Saturn. Um, Yes, this is powerful for, yes, could be for spiritual work, for the moon is very benevolent for studies, but because of the square of Saturn, we need to be very structured, very disciplined, very time-oriented, um, because Saturn creates limitations. I like the fact that all these planets in Capricorn create the trine, because Venus, Pluto, Mars... Um, Mercury, they create trine, but still Saturn is saying we need to be very um, disciplined, very time oriented. Uh, so Moon in Taurus is saying that we may do uh, some beauty procedures, but we also may need to be a little bit careful not to do very invasive beauty procedures. Also, this particular placement of the Moon could be good for some uh, medical inter interventions again not really to 
be very invasive in terms of new beginnings in business also not because of the square of Saturn but to maintain your business finances also um, to already to take care of your garden uh, would be very good and Saturn is saying yes there will be a lot of work certainly but yes agriculture planting already or seeding planting already uh, trees and flowers you can already do with this particular placement of the moon and this is Saturday day of Saturn will we welcome the sun Saturn is ruling the day and you can imagine the aura around yourself is amethyst color and you can wear amethyst on this day and then we have the 18th of February, which is 7th lunar day, a little bit critical, but still the moon is passing through the mighty eye of Taurus, uh, strong to maintain your business, financially very good, but Saturn is saying there is a limit. We need to be very disciplined. We need to work a lot. And I wouldn't do medical interventions. Beauty procedures, yes, but not invasive talented work drawing singing you know maybe this day will give you muse so this can be very good but new beginnings not really you can travel yes uh, but again carefully saturn is a little bit of limiting factor and this is 18th of february uh this is uh, sunday so we welcome the sun you know the sun is ruling the day we imagine orangey red aura very healthy aura and you can wear a ruby and then we have uh, monday which is 19th of february 8th lunar day very good position of the sun for trade for business for negotiations quite benevolent medical interventions some you can do you can travel uh, new beginnings if they involve trade Yes, some new beginnings you can do um, on this day. You can travel, I mentioned. Um, this is Monday, day of the moon. So you welcome the sun. You know the moon is ruling really the day. You imagine the aura around yourself is uh, light green and you can wear, you can wear uh, pearl. And then we look at 20th of February, which is Tuesday, which is 9th lunar day. And then the moon is in degrees, which also suggests... Um, these are very spiritual degrees, actually. Uh, and the moon makes very good trine with Saturn uh, and with the sun. So this day is, uh, this day is good for trade. Uh, new beginnings... This day is not strong enough for new beginnings, but if really if you really have to start something and you, you've been waiting, and especially if it's related to studying, teaching, speech, commerce, you can use this day. This is Tuesday. Uh, you can also on this day, you can travel, you can negotiate, you can study, teach others, medical interventions, some of medical interventions you can do. Um so and this is tuesday day of mars you welcome the sun you know mars is ruling the day and you can imagine this red aura around yourselves and you can um, wear red coral and now we're looking at 21st of february which is wednesday 10th lunar day the moon is passing through the two great twins um well interesting degrees for business for also for some spiritual activities martial degrees also because the moon will be very near also pollux so to en to enhance our courage if you want in business um on this day you can travel new beginnings uh, probably the, the day is not really very, very appropriate for new beginnings. But if you really have to start something and you are waiting for a day, if it's related to trade, communication, teaching, could be, the day could be appropriate. The day is Wednesday, day of Mercury. You welcome the sun, you know, uh, Mercury is ruling the day. So you imagine greenish all around yourselves for knowledge. And you can wear an emerald on this day. And the day is, yes, good for trade. Um, 
for teaching, presenting. And this is 22nd of February, which is Thursday. Very, very powerful moon in Cancer. Very powerful moon. Um, and this uh, moon is um, will pass through the Nebula of Cancer. De degrees for knowledge, for mysticism, yes. Um, and actually, the day is not appropriate for medical interventions. You may travel, um, but again carefully because there is some mysticism in these degrees which would also suggest some unpredictability uh, medical interventions no working in your garden starting the agriculture season planting yes very very appropriate no beauty procedures no new beginnings day of jupiter you welcome the sun you know jupiter is ruling the day and then you can imagine the aura around yourself is yellowish when you welcome the sun you know the, you imagine the yellow aura you can wear citrine then we look at 23rd of february uh, the moon is also very powerful and you can uh, imagine actually you can no medical interventions very good to enhance your intuition to work uh, in your garden to start the agriculture season if you want New beginnings I wouldn't do. I would be careful when traveling. Uh, this is um, Friday, day of Venus. You welcome the sun. You imagine the aura around yourself is a, per, a, a, a pink, like light pink, very gentle pink, uh, white color. And you can wear pink quartz. And on this day, you actually do just spiritual practices help others teach others not so much uh, so many other things to do really on this particular day then we have 24th of february uh, 13th lunar day saturday the moon passes through the heart of the lion mighty degrees to enhance your courage to um, for enlightenment and this is saturday you welcome the sun you know the Saturn is ruling the day. You imagine the aura around yourself is uh, the color is um, amethyst and you can wear an amethyst. On this day, I wouldn't recommend new beginnings. Um, the moon is approaching full moon. The thing is that um, there is affliction from Saturn. So we already have here the um, 24th and 20, towards 25th of February. We're, we will be having that full moon, which is on the axis of Leo Aquarius. This is very good because the moon uh, in Leo will be giving us some courage, but still there will be the limitations of Saturn, which means we will still have to learn our lessons of discipline, of time orientation, of morals. Uh, but in any case, um, on this day, I wouldn't recommend new beginnings. Uh, surgical interventions probably not but these are degrees of enlightenment of astrology of studying of teaching others jupiter is making trine and this is very helpful so these degrees can also be very benevolent i was talking about saturday and now sunday which is already 25th of uh, february 14th lunar day the day of the full moon yes and now i repeat very good full moon to benefit from in terms of courage, enlightenment. Uh, Jupiter makes trine. Saturn makes opposition as invisible planet to teach us, yes, to be a little bit more structured, more disciplines, to more moral if you want. Uh, but uh, the, the degrees are very good for knowledge, enlightenment, studying astrology. Uh, reaching our own uh, enlightenment you know and this is sunday the day of the sun you welcome the sun and the sun is ruling the source of enlightenment a blessing knowledge um, everything the sun you know and we can um, welcome the sun and we know the sun is ruling the day and we can also uh, imagine this red aura, orange aura of health, of energy, 
and we can wear a ruby. Then it is the 26th uh, February, 15th lunar day. The moon is in degrees, which are, I, I call this degree based on what I uh, read and what I saw, degrees of inertia. So people with these degrees on their ascendants don't do much. They wait for, you know, events to, yeah, these are such degrees. They don't give lots of results. But in terms of study, enhancing our intuition, we can benefit from this day. Not appropriate for new, new beginnings, for medical interventions. The previous day's day was also not appropriate. But for studying, for working on our intuition and courage, could be very good working uh, in the nature. And this is 26th of February, 15th lunar day. This is Monday. You welcome the sun, you know... The moon is ruling the day. You imagine the greenish aura around yourself for abundance, for, for fertility, which the moon can only give, not only mainly. And you can wear moonstone. And we have 27th of February, which is 16th lunar day of Tuesday. So the moon is in degrees which are very much about healing, about knowledge, about studies. And the moon receives good aspects from Pluto, Mars, and Venus. So this is what we can do. We can do medical interventions. We can study. We can teach others. We can travel. We can negotiate. New beginnings not. And we can... Uh, this is Tuesday, day of Mars. You welcome the sun. You know Mars is ruling the day. You imagine the aura around yourself is red when you welcome the sun. And you can, this is aura which is a, of Mars for healthy, active energy, you know, for self-esteem, for courage. This is what Mars is giving and we can wear garnet. And it is 28th of February, 17th lunar day, Wednesday. The moon continues and it's in a very good degrees for healing, study, teaching, medical interventions, travel, negotiations. The day is Wednesday, uh, day of Mercury. You welcome the sun. You know, Mercury is ruling the day. And you can imagine the aura around yourself is uh, green. When you welcome the sun, green aura, and you can wear emerald of mercury for knowledge for trade for success in your studies in your commercial activities and then we have the last day of the month february 29th february thursday 18th lunar day the moon is in the first degrees of libra days uh, degrees called comfort degrees good for design work for work which re requires exact type of knowledge, uh, um, completion of work which is related to bookkeeping, accountancy, designing, creating beauty. You can do medical interventions. You can also do beauty procedures on this day. No new beginnings. This is Thursday. You welcome the sun. You know, uh, Jupiter is ruling the day. You imagine the yellow energy of jupiter around you and you can wear citrine so ladies and gentlemen this was about my um analysis of month of february um i wish you all the best in february and if you want to hear more about your own personal horoscope of course, um, you can find my details for a reading under this video. All the best to you and see you very soon.